Okay, it's my review on Soldier of Fortune Payback. Uh, this game is really not good. If you watched my other video about that helicopter, uh, I figured out how to actually make it work. I guess I just had to turn off my Xbox and turn it back on. And then it worked. Okay, but uh, so there's single player, which is like ridiculously, like, I don't know, it's so fake. I mean, they're trying to make it seem like really fun. The only good thing really, let's just start a new game, let's go on easy. The only good thing really is like the weapon choice. You can like choose all these different kind of guns. Well, I just started a new game, but like as you get farther you unlock more guns. So really, the guns get really cool. And then you can go like this and get like different scopes on them and stuff. That's that's pretty cool. But uh and the gore in the game is pretty cool, but really everything else about it just sucks. The online's all right if you can play with somebody, but really nobody wants to play because the game is really garbage. But um yeah, I'll start it up. The loading times like, take kind of long. I mean, but every time you die, and towards the end of the game, you, you will die a lot. So, every time you die, you see the screen, and it takes, like, really long to load, like, as you're seeing right now. But, um, yeah, I'll show you some gameplay of shooting and stuff. The gore is really good, but sometimes it just gets, I think, over the top. The AI is really dumb, they just run at you if you're really close. So, like, that guy's arms flew off, and I shot him once. Here, I'll go over to this guy's body. See his leg? Now it's off. His head. Now it's like just disappears. Like it's just kinda kinda gets ridiculous to an extent. Um yeah. The the gun sounds are pretty realistic, I guess. I mean silencer sounds silenced, uh Shoot these dudes on the roof, as you can see, they just kind of their body parts. Just, that guy's head just like disappeared. I didn't even shoot him. Um, yeah. So this game really isn't that good. It was made like I think it was made way too quickly. Um, if you're into achievements and stuff, all the achievements are online basically. I mean, there's a couple just for completing the game, but the single player is so bad. I don't know why he would want to. Um, yeah, really, this game is just really bad. Usually when I shoot somebody, the game just slows down. I don't know why. I think that would be a, Yeah, watch. I shoot some people, and sometimes the game slows down. And once they get in, like, a 10-foot radius, they just start running at you stupidly. And this game just... Trust me. If, if you kind of just want, it's like a ripoff of Call of Duty, but nowhere near as good. I'll just pause the game really quick. Uh, the multiplayer, as I said before, it's alright if you can find somebody to play. But still, there's really nobody that plays this game. Um, not really much more to say. I give this game a, th a, thumb, it's a thumbs down for sure. It's really not a good game. So, uh... If I give it out of 10, I'd probably give it a 3 out of 10. That's even maybe going a little too far. Or too high of a score. A 3. Just because of the, the gun selection. That's the only thing that's really keeping it from being a negative something. Just kidding. Well, it, it's bad. It's bad. So, I'd say definitely not a buy. If you really have nothing else to play, I mean, I mean nothing, like, absolutely nothing. I mean, you could go back to a PS1, play one of those games, it's better than this. If you have absolutely nothing to play, then maybe, maybe give this game a rent. Okay, this was my review of Soldier of Fortune Garbage Payback. Thanks for listening, peace out.